Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to our MLB The Show 19. New York Mets franchise, this is episode 20, that's right, episode 20. And here we are for this June 5th game. We're going to be doing a quick manage game um, with Noah Syndergaard on the mound. I feel like I haven't played a game with him in a while, but... Um, what was I going to say? Lost my chain of thought. But we're going to have Noah go against Jeff Samarja, who's 3-1 right now with a 4.5 ERA. Sinegar having that amazing year, 2.9 ERA. Oops, and uh, we're going to try to uh, take care of San Fran and win the series here. Noah on the mound. Single by Rama, uh, by Larry. Single by uh, by Ramos. Walk. All right. Do I do a suicide squeeze here with Larry? I think it's the smartest way to do it. And we will tie game. Beautiful. We'll do back to back suicide squeezes, and we win. That's a suicide squeeze. And we win 4-3, coming up with four, uh, three runs in the ninth inning. What a comeback for the Mets. That is Juris Familia's third win of the year. Conforto, player of the game with that solo home run and uh, a walk. So the next game we're going to have is Steven Matz. Please, let's win a game. Uh, he did play really well last time. He did play really well last time, but didn't get the win because he didn't pitch enough innings. That's okay. Hopefully he can do it this time. Uh, ERA definitely dropped a little bit. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And we got Jose Marte, uh, who is a righty, but he is going to be facing a, a little different lineup here. We'll put Rosario on the last. Look at all these cold players. I don't understand. Um, Keep this line up here. I think everybody looks okay. And let's get this game started.
Ah. God. That's come on, man. Really? Of course. Just don't understand him. I don't. Okay, one run scored. Two runs scored, okay. Ah. Uh, change we'll put in Lugo. has been killing us. Shut him out. Cool. Uh, we're down by one run here in the seventh. Let's put in Todd Frazier. Okay, took a walk. Walk. Change. Two run score. We get the lead here in the seventh. All right. Boy Kimbrel, let's go, buddy. Better strike out, strike out, let's go. Stone base, bunt, shit. Put in Carlos Gomez. Come on, buddy. Walk. One run score. There you go. Single by Lowry. How long is he gonna swing it? Ground out. That's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Diaz. Ground out. Fly out. Let's go. We win six four. Robinson can Robinson can know the player of the game with three RBIs, buying two for four and a double. Seth Lugo gets his first win of the season. Edwin Diaz gets the save. What a comeback! From behind victories, back-to-back -back games for the Mets, and the bullpen holds up. That is something that I want to see. But the next game we're going to see is against Colorado. That's what we're we'll playing. It's be Chris Russin, Lucen. Um, it's two and zero with a 2.5 ERA versus Zach Wheeler, six and three with a 3.1 ERA. It should be interesting. Um, Mets are 35 and 28. That's the big thing we got. We're still a game and a half back. Um, I'll see you guys at City Field. Six of their last nine. Hit pretty well. That's a shot by Pete Alonso. This could be a home run. And it is. It's a solo home run by Pete Alonso. That is number nine this season. Mr. Rookie of the Year. That was out of here in a hurry. As soon as, as, soon as he made contact, that was exit velocity is way too fast, to man. The Mets are up one nothing here in the first inning. He can and will make you pay big time. This one. Burrow drives it too deep off the field, and this could be a home run. It's back-to-back -back home runs for Pete Alonso and Michael Conforto. It is Michael Conforto's 13th home of the season, going 378 feet. It is 2 0 Mets. Michael Conforto, quite a bit, doesn't usually hit opposite field. Was 
able to use his power to muster it up. Wow. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up a two home runs. Start this home stand out. They won the Go first on. three games, and now Oof. they open up a new series here. This could be one of those really, really good series. Yeah, right, and they've been hits executing for the Rockies. We were down on the field before the game, watching his team no take BP in the second stand. inning. Struck him, out. Struck him out swinging. That is a big strikeout for Zach Buehler. That's the first of the evening. There. Danny, we see a lot of that now it's two outs here in a second with two men days. on. Makes it so Definitely I think Matt would the make pitch that we needed. needed. Try to keep it scoreless game. So the payoff pitch. And he's Ooh, got him with a slider. I completely mistamed that. But that froze Chris Iannetta on the inside. Guys, and, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that, that is a moonshot by Robbie Cano. That is into the bullpen. That is another solo shot for the Mets. It is now 3-0 here in the second inning. That's Cano's seventh home run. He trots around the bases. Seven home runs for him on the year now. That was a no doubter right off the bat for Robbie Cano. <clears throat> well, if you're going to give up a towering blast Boom. from one of the best players in their lineup, the it's pitch better is down, to do it no one was able base. to uppercut it up it sure, but into a the bullpen. No way! Zach Wheeler getting in on the action, and that is a solo shot by Zach Wheeler. What is going on here? Zach Wheeler with a bomb to the bullpen. That's my first pitcher's home run of the season. And it was a no doubter. That is an amazing, amazing shot by Zach Wheeler. And oh my gosh. I did not see that coming. When I saw the camera angle, I was like, no way. And a good That's a swing and a miss he getting Anderson on a slider. We are looking good. Swung on. Pete Alonso, number two in the game. That goes the opposite direction into the bullpen. It is 5 nothing Mets and Pete Alonso with number 10 in this season and he continues to just crush to right the ball as a rookie home run of the game and the Mets have got it up to a five nothing game now not even a full swing he says get that out of here high and deep to oh that's a deep field. shot to center field is this going to be a home run for Sasmus it is it looks like it's going to be and it's going to be a two run home run for Yoannis Sasmus it is seven nothing Mets. And that is a two-run home run going to deep center field, going 425 feet. Number 14 on the season, and we are just destroying this pitcher. Wow. Two for two, he'll look to add on right here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second Whoa, home run of the game. Out. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this AB. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Alonzo is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Pete Alonzo His looked for the number right now three in the game. Signifies that this guy is having a great Let's year. See. I'm very interested to see how this guy Here finishes up. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Full count to Pete Alonso looking for a third home run. See if he can get it. Oh, and, he took a big and maybe he does. Goes to deep, deep, deep left center field. Deep and center it's field. out of here. Pete Alonso with three. Let me repeat that. Three home runs in the game. Three solo shots. It's number 11. Pete Alonso is just cooking against the Rockies. And oh my goodness, this is home run derby here in City Field. 
you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent. Jed Lowry now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that's going to be a double for uh, Jeff Lowry as he goes off the field and he's going to be safe at second. So it's runners at second and third. One out here in the sixth as Jed Lowry's 12th double of the season. And the multi base hits are just coming in for the Mets right now. And drive it out of the yard to save it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. He's their last. And it's going to be caught ball by Cano. And that is ball game over. And the Mets win 8 0 behind the pitching of Zach Wheeler. And a long balls for the Mets. I don't think there was anything that was not a home run for every score that I had. Every time someone reached home base was because of a home run and nothing else. It's just something that I usually don't do in my series, but there was a lot of, a lot of home runs for the Mets. P. Alonso with a 3-4 game with 3 home runs, 3 RBIs. Michael Conforto also with a home run. The Awareness with a 2 run home run. And Cano with a home run as well. Don't forget about Zach Wheeler who actually hit a ball into the bullpen. So what a game for the Mets offensively and defensively. I'm excited if we can keep this up. So wraps things up for the Mets here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to click that like button. Leave any comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.